My name is uh, PB2 William Sanchez. I'm an 11 Bravo in 235 Deco. Don't have much cooking experience myself, but my mom is a chef. My name is Second Lieutenant Chu. I was born and raised in New Jersey, Homedale, New Jersey. I'm an armor officer in 3-4 Cav, and I don't have a professional cooking background. My name is Alexander Volutin. I was born in Russia. My culinary background is I used to cook at home when I was a teenager. I uh, worked at some restaurants before joining the military and I discovered a culinary school, a coffee area, and I'm currently a student. My name is Private First Class Bemis. I belong to 37 HHB FA, Field Artillery. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. My culinary background is I've been a chef for seven years professionally. When I first got here, I was hurt, so a lot of the physical activities weren't something I could really do. So being able to participate and kind of put forward and uh, do something that would, you know, represent my, my company and my unit was something that interested me. Cooking just seemed like a fun option for me. So. I just like cooking. Um, I've always kind of liked it. It's been fun. Like, I like cooking for my friends. I figured it was something that I could try uh, my hand at. And, yeah. I just want to try out, see the skills that I have in a competition level. And that was a good opportunity for me. Honestly, I wasn't thinking about entering the competition. It was just something that my uh, sergeant just thought it was best for me, that he all knew that I cooked, and he really thought that I had a good chance of winning. Begin cooking in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin cooking. All right, let's go, you guys. Cooking good food. The dish was a really weird combination. I had never really worked with lamb, and uh, I don't eat seafood personally, so having both anchovies and the, the lobster tail was interesting. I've never done anything with lobster. I've also never made a lamb chop, and the Pop-Tarts really confused me, because uh, I had to at least stop and think for like five minutes about how I would incorporate that. Anchovies, not a fan. Pop-Tarts, also not a fan, never liked them. It's just a bad snack and I don't, I don't know how to incorporate it with, with the ingredients that were was provided to me. Chef, do you have to use every single thing? You have to use it at least once. No, I'm talking about like nope. three packages. You, you, only, you only need to use one of those. Uh -huh. But you need them for four plates though, right? Uh, okay. Never really worked with lobster too much but the lamb, uh, I had pretty good ideas for it. But other than that, it's just the lobster was the biggest challenge for me. I'm Spanish, so I could kind of took inspiration from that, like my Dominican roots, and just try to make a, the closest thing to a Spanish plate that I could. Uh, with the lamb, I took uh, the lamb rack and uh, split it, took the loin, and tried to do like a steak type meal out of that. And then for the rack, I seared it, and then just uh, popped it in the oven after I had uh, crusted it with uh, Dijon mustard and the Pop-Tarts. Um, for my vegetables and starch, I ended up going with a potato salad. I took the white from the potato, the orange from the carrots, and purple cabbage in there, just to really give it a, a color that would pop. For the anchovies, I threw it in a rice, honestly. It was something that would be plain enough to where it would like subside that real salty flavor that the anchovies has. Uh, the lobster tail, I went with just searing it and then letting it sit in a, in a garlic butter. The thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my mom's fried rice uh, and use the lobster tails and the anchovies for the fried rice. I think that'll go very well. And then I think I'm just gonna use the Pop-Tarts as a breading for the loin of the lamb chops and hope that works. The dish is lobster alfredo with vegetables and herb crusted rack of lamb with some sauteed squash on the side. At first I didn't know how to prepare it. I was uh, just taking my knowledge of what I had and I started making it and then everything uh, fell in its place. I sauteed the uh, vegetables. I did the same thing with the vegetables for the pasta and uh, added the lobster, made the alfredo sauce on the side, then I put it all, mixed it all together. On the side I had the uh, spaghetti boiling. For the rack of lamb, I seasoned it with salt and pepper, 
sear it uh, re really quick and then I put Dijon mustard on it, which had the Pop-Tarts. That's how I incorporate the Pop-Tarts into it, uh, panko, and basic herbs such as rosemary and thyme and parsley. My plan for the dish is to incorporate the lobster tail by searing it off in the pan and then baking it in the oven, and then having lemon zest across the top, having orange puree as the base, and with the lamb chops, I shall sear them off in the pan, incorporating the Pop-Tart. And then with that, I'm just gonna let that sear off for a bit, cook it to medium rare, place three lamb chops over uh, sauteed potatoes, and then have chimichurri on to the lamb chop as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Start cooking, start playing. 15 minutes to play. Can I get an eye to get Aye, chef. Aye, chef. So the pop tart is actually on the breaded um, the wrap. Okay. So I breaded the wrap with the pop tart. I used the anchovies and the rice that's under the lobster. Okay. So that's um, that's a cilantro and uh, anchovy rice. Um, and then the the loin I completely did separate. I'll see it and then pop it in the too, but for a little less time. So hopefully it's still moist and flavorful for you. Um, and then like I said, the potato salad just has carrots and uh, a little cabbage and potatoes and eggs. So. This is not something I'm used to like. I'm already back. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's good. I've never cooked lamb before. Yeah. 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 What we uh, prepared for you guys is uh, my mom's fried rice, so the way that she taught me, uh, with lobster uh, and anchovies that are in the fried rice, so I kind of add some of the saltiness to it. Uh, <laughs> the pop tarts kind of threw us for a loop, but uh, you know, adapt and overcome, so we use that as bread and bread for the lemon. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions. There's anchovies somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. Before you, I present you a uh, herb crusted lamb with a spaghetti alfredo uh, lobster and sauteed squash. I can taste the Okay, it was beautiful. Um, I thought the pop tart and the breading was really creative because that's a, a wild ingredient. Um, I know anchovies can be tricky to work with, and like this doesn't taste fishy, so there's a great balance. It's beautiful. I wish I could eat the whole thing. <laughs> Ladies, right, so Uh, thank you for being here. It, it means a lot to uh, bring support to especially uh, Tropic Lightning Weeks and Sports Weeks throughout the military. Ma'am, would you like to announce the winner for us? I would love okay, to. Okay, so Miss Jared is uh, the CG's wife, if nobody knew that. Um, she's going to announce the winner for us, correct? Yes. Drum roll, everybody. So drum roll. <laughs> and the winner is? Uh, Private First Class of Venus. Congratulations. 
I know I'm not a cook, but I'm still very competitive just in nature. So coming here, not winning, but knowing that I, I, I think I came close to winning is something that definitely motivates me for next year. Shout out to 3-4 Cav, uh, Prepare and Loyal. Um, we're the Raider Squadron, uh, ready to fight tonight. So. Um, I, mean, I did not win, no, but I think um, my dish was the, the winning dish. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to 37FA Field Artillery, all my NCOs for bringing me through everything and uh, keeping me motivated to, through the competition. I really appreciate y'all.